feel that emptiness was in your right, life. Right, right. And so she eventually did o- overdose dose on pills and right. died. And uh, I think it was 1990, um, uh, 1997 or somewhere. Mm-hmm. But uh, she she finally did kill herself. Wow. And looking so for Christ. Looking, looking, looking for the answer. Mm-hmm. Looking for looking someone for in answer. her life, you know. Right, and so, right. you know, but I'm just saying, you know, we don't, if, if you haven't been, if you haven't been taught mm-hmm. to uh, to look for Christ, right? You know, if no one has ever invited you to come and listen to the good news and right. hear right. that Christ is there for your salvation, lost. then you won't even know yeah. to look for Him. You know, right. and a lot of times, you know, people hear other people talking about God and uh-huh. Christ, and mm-hmm. you know, they say, okay, but that, that's not for me. Right, they're yeah. not. They're you not know, paying attention. Not this morning, knowing. one ear coming out the other. That's yeah. right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. You know, that's right. And, and they just don't. They don't understand. Uh-huh. That you know we are not whole without him, right? You know, right? And, and 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 it's sad because there are a lot of people out there that will never ever be touched mm-hmm. by the word of God, right? That's so true. Can walk right by it, can look right at it, but will never be touched. That's by heavy. Because that's heavy. no one mm-hmm. would be able to convince them mm-hmm. to open their hearts and their minds and, and receive Jesus Christ. Christ. Right. Wow. You know, it's, it's wow. a shame that's that you know that they that's that heavy. they have to have a tragic in their life, for right? Them, for them to go, oh mm-hmm. Lord. But you know, you wasn't thinking about the oh Lord That's while right. you was getting into that tragedy. That's right. right. So, you right. Know, if you, if you wow. find Christ, you know, you probably won't end up in a tragedy. Right. Mm-hmm. Oh, the mm-hmm. name of that star was Phyllis Hyman. Oh, okay. A beautiful. Okay. I mean, okay. she was so blessed with wow. a voice. She had a voice that was, she could sing jazz, uh-huh. Broadway, rhythm and blues. She could do it wow. all. And wow. she had a range. She was just, you know, big, tall, awesome. Sister, awesome, singer. Mm. awesome singer. Awesome mm. singer. Had everything. Mm. That she could desire, but yet still was empty. Still lost. Had nothing, yeah. Wow. You know, and, wow. And, and that emptiness, along with Satan, of course, mm-hmm. right. drove her right. to kill to herself. Suicide. You know, wow. and, 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 and when you know, and when we do that, you know, in in, in the face of the Holy Spirit, when mm-hmm. we, we take our lives, I mean, that's mm-hmm. you know, that's a that's a really let down for Christ. Right. You know it's also I mean? unforgiven sin. Oh, yeah, the Bible exactly. speaks of you know two yeah. sins that's. Right. That can't be forgiven. Exactly. And that's one of them, suicide. Because once you take your life, you can't ask God to forgive you for taking that life. Your life is over. Oh, yeah. Now it's the judgment. And not only then that. the other one is the blaspheme against the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit. It's like yeah. a curse. You know, you just right. curse God. I mean, that's right. You know, He forgives you for a lot of things. Right. But if you know God and then you curse Him, it's kind of hard, oh, you know, yeah. to really get back in well, to that kind of well, relationship. One thing about taking a life that life is not ours to take. Right. It doesn't, you know, life, right. all life really right. belongs right. to God. Right. Right. So we, you know, right. when we take something that belongs to Him, mm. that's you're robbing Him. Yeah, of something. yeah you're robbing you're Him. Him. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely. You're robbing God. You're yeah. part. Of, you're part of His labor. Mm-hmm. And, right. You know, you you deprive Him of uh-huh. what His creation. He, he is. created. Yeah. You know, yeah. And you you're destroying it by destroying yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So. Wow. Yeah. Well, wow. You know, he, he created us all for His joy and His pleasure. That's right. You know, that's right. So when that's we right. take that from him, that's that's you know that's quite a, a mm-hmm. I don't know, I don't know what would you call it. Yeah, that's a bad letdown. That's a bad. That's a bad letdown. Yeah, that's a bad letdown. That's a big disappointment. Yeah, you yeah don't that's so true. Lord, you know? No, you, you, no. You want him to be happy, and you know he'll in all happy. things. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's right. That's right. There was a scripture that comes to mind. You know, while you was you know talking, the scripture come to mind about. Um, it's in the last part of uh, Luke where it speaks about um, Christ asks Peter, would you feed my sheep? Yes. You know, deacons are, you know, ones that, you know, are really out to feed the sheep. And we, mm-hmm. Me and my wife was walking this morning after taking the kids to school and uh, a real good friend of ours, a family member, I should say, uh, was in a car accident and and uh, they was kind of banged up pr- pretty tough. You know, sure. we want to send out a good shout out. Get well soon. We're going to yeah. see you soon. We'll keep you in the prayers. And uh, yes, we're going to keep you in your prayers. And this is what part of feeding the sheep is. This is Laura, Russian. I, don't know, I just well, call her know, name out there. Well, you know, that's the same as I was, I, was, mm-hmm. I was speaking in church. You know, I don't, I don't just wait until Sunday to right. talk about the Lord. Right. Like every day. Right. I, right. Find, I see someone. Right. That needs to right. need to talk about the Lord. They need, right. they need you know, right. they, uh, they need to get to know Him, and so that's you know, our I talk mission. about Him every day. Yeah, that's our mission. That's and our I, mission. I thank Him every night. Mm-hmm. And, and little Noah, 
Yeah. Still, still calling and Jasmine. Yes, yes. We yes. love y'all and keep on going on. But the purpose of that was it, the sheep is is plenty. We 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 have to be an example to, for everybody. That's and right. he asked Peter one time. He said, well, "Would you feed my sheep?" And he said, "Oh yes, Lord. Yeah, I feed your sheep. Yeah, I feed your sheep." And then he asked him again. He said, "Peter, would you feed my sheep?" Right. He's like, uh huh. Then he asked me. Then he asked me one time before, already. Yeah, yeah, what yeah. what is it the doubt? You know, what is it? This is not like two days later he asked him. Right. Then for the third time again he says, Peter, like, yeah. hey, to get his attention. Yeah. And he's like, because he wasn't okay, feeding his sheep. So you know, every, I mean, will you, know, you feed my sheep? How many times do I have to say this? <laughs> well, he, well, he knew that Peter sure didn't. He knew that Peter didn't understand what he was saying. That's, <laughs> so, that's why he had to tell him. Yeah, yeah. feeding sheep is a tough job. A tough yeah, job. yeah. So he wanted to make for show was he ready for the feeding of the sheep? That's right. And so that's all. I, that's our only purpose. And we hope that we fed a couple of sheep on the show yeah. again on today. You know, that something was said that was encouraging to you, that brought you a little closer to the shepherd, which mm -hmm. is our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Right. That was the point I was really getting to. And now we got the, the we got the rookie up here. Amen. <laughs> but all players is on the court. Ain't nobody right. red shirt at Red 37th Street. We don't have no bench warmers. Mm -hmm. So he is just as much a gladiator as uh, like all of us. We're, we're on this battlefield and we are working for the Lord. So I'm going to bring Deacon Donnie uh, on out of here. He's going he gonna to yes. let you know. He got uh, a scripture for you. Too. Uh, still, I'm, I'm still in, in being being thankful mm -hmm. and um, showing the the uh, the labor of the Lord, uh, thou had thou the uh, the heavens and the earth mm -hmm. were were finished, and all all hosts of them, and on the seventh day God rested His mm -hmm. work when He had made when He had made which He had made, mm -hmm. and He. Re and he rested on the seventh day. On the seventh, mm -hmm. uh, seventh day, uh, from all from all his work mm -hmm. which he had done, uh, he had made. Okay, and God blessed the the seventh day, and and. Hmm, and and sanctified it. Because that in it he had rested from. Okay, I can't sanctify it. I lost my place. Mm -hmm. all right. um, Take your time. Yeah, I'm gonna be all right. Mm -hmm. Okay, because okay, in his work, okay, he had rested from all his work which God created and made. Mm -hmm. These are 